Well, hello, welcome back to us or me, however you want to look at it. Um, yeah, very important issues, very important situations or events have happened. Let's see how the talking about it is going to be interrupted by commentary nodes. So yeah, in case you missed it, we're being oppressed. Oh uh, yeah, hello. We're being oppressed right now. There's Breen again on the monolith. Uh, and there over there is the Citadel. I don't know, I'm not sure if they're gonna talk about it today. I mean now. Or did they talk about it in the next games? Because they showed you, they show you the technology they use to create this image this view so let's make sure I think the I think the Half-Life 2 update this game what made what they did better what they fixed I guess is this the signs here like this so this is supposed to be what is this supposed to be it's HSSG which is I don't know what it's standing for and why is there a hotel sign and also that? Another hotel. Terminal hotel. In Latin alphabet, but also Russia. They're gonna talk about it, how their inspiration was the Eastern, Eastern or Central European um, um, architecture here. But why Russian and also Latin? I don't know. Let's let's hear from them. This is the player's first view of the outside world, and the Citadel is what will immediately draw the player's attention. Since it is first viewed while aligned with the Breencast monitor atop the obelisk, it is easy for the two to be instantly connected in the player's mind. The Citadel's gigantic size not only shows the Combine's immense power, but also allows the player to see it from many locations throughout the game, anchoring the player within the world and building it up as the location for the final struggle. Yes, like you said, Breen on the monolith and also the Citadel being seen closely to each other, which does actually borrow from, well, borrow, uses the... Uh, psychological principle of association of course and how you associate things is by proximity in time in space and in a uh, meaning I guess I never remember the third one because that's how well I learn um, but yeah those two those three things and one of them being proximity of time and space so like this so now you think yeah Breen from Citadel and they're evil perfect Mr. CP, Mr. Child Pornography, what have you to say? They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to overcome this compulsion. Yeah, these masks. So I'm going to talk about these masks soon enough, I hope. But in the meantime, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Maybe. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, what do I need help with right now? Alex, also. Yeah, maybe I'll get to that too. Um, oh, a monitor. That looks kind of fresh. Precinct 6. Access required. Look, we're oppressed. We're being oppressed right now. Pictures of us have been taken because we just wanted to, to visit a friend and we're not fucking... Uh, what's the term I'm looking for? We don't have access, we're not certified, the other word. Uh, I don't know, I don't remember. I'm gonna stay with access and uh, certification, I guess. Because that sounds nice. Um, yeah, souvenirs. So what am I going about? Oh, right. So, very important issues in the world lately, contemporarily. We, we talked already, we can go. Fuck off. So, oh, let, let's, well, it's difficult, I'm trying to get shit out of the way. Move along. Nothing to see you. These are not the droids you're looking for. So yeah, we, we're having a very important inter interrogation there. Oppressive at that, of course. And environmental startling. Like they're being held against the wall. He's stopping you. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. Oh, bitch. I can't touch this. Are you even trying? High five. Come on. 
There we go. High five. Right. So what was it? What was I on about? The issues in the real world. So the issue in the real world lately is that first of Emily Hartridge died in the accident, in an accident. She was riding her scooter on the road, I guess. Actually, I'm not sure and I don't really care, but that's a, that's a subject to talk about. Um, she was riding her scooter and she somehow got under a truck that hit her and killed her. I think she died in, in, a, in the hospital. Oh, an issue, look. This is a strider. That's a motherfucking, that's a weird thing. That's a weird uh, world but, um, as well. I guess. Ah, I'll use the British term. It's a weird world as well. So, she got herself into a truck, under a truck, and died. In a hospital, I think. So they tried to save her, but that seemed like an accident, right? She, um, she, she had a YouTube channel, she did... She also got herself into TV, I think? From what I remember from the news. And look. Uh, nice things. Art. Amazing, isn't it? Also, fucking, what is this? This isn't even Russian, because Russia, Russians, Russia, Russia, Russia doesn't have an S like this and doesn't have diacritic signs under ch. So I don't know what this is. Is it Greek? I don't think so. Is it Serbian? Maybe. Um, yeah, they didn't talk about the inspiration of the Eastern European architecture there. Hmm. Pity. Good thing I covered this, because I'm great. Thank you later. So she got herself under a truck, and she was famous from YouTube and TV. And of course she had her Instagram, where she posted her um, bikini pictures. So she, that doesn't make her any better than any other woman, I guess. But... Um, the death was accidental. Right, so maybe it is a loss for someone. Not a big one, there's 7 billion people around. And she was only famous, so that it's only an issue for someone because some people knew her. More people than more people knew her than any other person that died of that day. I don't know why she was so. Like I said, she died on her scooter by uh, when being hit with a truck. I don't know if she was riding the scooter on the street, and that would have been great because she died because of her stupidity, which is always a a great thing. Always makes me laugh. Or was she crossing the street on the, the crosswalk, I guess, right? A crosswalk. And then she got hit, because that would have been wrong. Aren't I fucking uh, easy to spend my empathy with? What am I saying, right? I can't remember the word. When I'm, when I'm spending easily, what's the word? Anyway. So yeah, that she died, and when it comes to death, we're gonna talk about something else soon enough. Of course, <laughs> these cars are very interesting. High fucking suspension. Um, gun. Unceremoniously gun. What do you want? High five. What are you gonna do? Are you giving up or are you chasing me? Well, I guess he's chasing me. Oh, he gave up. Is it gonna trigger if I'm gonna get close? He's not gonna get triggered because he needs to stand on the car. It's a cool car though. It's a fucking armored vehicle. How do you look through it? I guess there's a couple. Ah shit! You fucking asshole. And what is this? Is this an air intake or is it a fucking gun? Like a mortar or something? Go away. Fucking aggressive those. When designing Half-Life 2, the team at Valve decided on an Eastern European setting and wanted uh. City 17 to appear to have grown naturally over time like most cities in Europe. To achieve this realistic look, they started by first designing the older buildings and then added in layers of newer and newer buildings from different eras. Finally, they added the Combine architecture, for example the barricades, catwalks, watchtowers and of course the Citadel, to show that the Combine are now a part of the city's history. Yeah, well, so eventually we did get to that commentary note talking about that. Very nice. Yeah, Eastern European or Central maybe, or even Western, a very a very edge of Western. Because Germany is an old country too. Yeah, so is France. So we, uh, uh, they've got similar architecture too. It is some sort of European old world circle. So 
they all went through uh, the history of figuring this kind of architecture out. So there, there are similarities, but yeah, some simil similarities, some differences. Yeah, it's not, it's not very well. Maybe, maybe I'm just terrible at knowing what architectures are there around, and I don't really see a difference between an old town in, in Germany, in uh, let's say Slovakia, or France, or Russia. They also look similar as long as they are old and European. But yeah, maybe there's maybe there is a different difference, and you can tell me, maybe. So after this, what's going on in here? Oh, hello. Several times throughout this commentary, mm. there are references to Half-Life 2's realistic look. Those familiar with Half-Life 2 will know it is, in fact, quite stylized. So I'd like to explain what this means. Half-Life 2 is based on our world, and it tries very much to have a good sense of realism, something it carries over from its predecessor. Guns and items don't hover, rotating in midair. Characters have realistic proportions, and much of the in-game architecture is based off of, or inspired by, real-world buildings. Half-Life 2 is stylized, but it has a bent towards presenting its world in a realistic way, and that's the issue we are discussing. That seems disjointed, though. I don't remember any other commentary note talking about how this is realism, but also not. It's not too difficult to understand that, obviously, they're not massively stylized and they're very realistic. Are we? Are you kneeling or are you dead already? He was, oh, I think he's, he's still alive. He might be still alive because he's still in the position, but then again, thinking about how ragdolls work, he might as well have been, uh, you know, dropped like that. And again, environmental storytelling. They're not talking, and there's blood up there on the, on the pavement, so he got beaten, and he's resting now. How are you doing, guys? Right, and the other death, the other death is Bianca Devins. So, murder is bad, and being e an e-thought cunt is bad too. She got killed because she's an e-thought. I'm sure people are... Oh, right, fuck. There's always something I'm missing. Emily Hardridge, that I talked about uh, before. Um... This the thing I don't understand. So they've got their social media, right? And they go out and post to people. And then after her death, someone got on her account and told everyone that, she, that she's dead. Did she actually give out her passwords and logins to her account to someone she, quote, trusts, unquote, just in case she dies? Or is it that she gave uh, this away for some reason to her, like a manager or something? Because her account is not really hers, it's like a company account. So there, is, there needs to be management involved in that. And that's why someone else had an account. Or did they really just fucking um, had a hacker hack everything for them, get on her account and announce to everyone that she's dead now? And otherwise, there wouldn't be any update because she couldn't, obviously, right? So that, w so we had to hack it, and tell you. Is it, aren't you grateful that we hacked her account? Otherwise, you'd be, you wouldn't know. There isn't news anymore. We all uh, deal with these things. We all spread information through Facebooks and Instagrams, not through news, not through articles like I'm reading. But Bianca Devins. So she's an ethel, right? And and when people die, I don't know if, if you know this, but when people die, there's an unspoken rule. Hello. It always starts. First the building, then the whole block. Stop. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Yeah, stop breaking the law, maybe. And then they won't have a reason to visit you. Yeah. CP again, again, right. So let's break the scanner because it's gonna tag along. Will I be able? Probably not. Wanna play tic tac toe? With lack of one fucking thing? Fuck. There I win. Bitch, where you at? Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment that, it's fine. 
there's a special kind of thing. Maybe you'll figure it out. I'm not gonna delve into it. So, um, when someone dies, there's technically a well, maybe in your cultural circle there might be this unspoken rule, or maybe very spoken, that when you don't speak badly about people that are dead. So then, why would you call Hitler a war criminal, as well as Stalin and Lenin, right? But they're dead, and you speak bad about, badly about them. Emily Hartridge is dead, and aside from being a regular e thought, um, I don't know much about this. So maybe she deserves as much criticism as any other woman, I guess. But uh, Bianca Devins, and then she had a oh come on now, not be like that. We're busy. Um, Bianca Devins had her. She's supposedly an Instagram model. Everyone who's on fucking Instagram and posting pictures of themselves are now models, obviously. Well, not now. Are models, All right? So, merry go round. Ah, oh, there we go. Fun. For whole family, maybe. What's going on in this place? Even if we pulled all the CP CPs off the doors, we wouldn't be able to go there, because they don't open. Because they're just a model. A static model there. And there is a loading transfer suspicious... Is fucking... What's the word? Loading... Transfer... Zone... There we go, loading, perfect. So she had a Discord, and of course she's good. She had people there because she was semi-famous and somewhat attractive, so people came over. And of course, now that she's dead, everyone praises her and says that the guy that killed her, that stabbed her in the neck, murdered her. She wasn't beheaded. Was very important. She wasn't beheaded. She was just stabbed in the neck and lost blood. She didn't lose her head. So don't, don't get tricked. I saw the pictures. If you really want to, uh, put a comment below. I'll arrange for you to see them. She wasn't beheaded. She was stabbed in the neck. And now the whole her whole Discord, and I essentially perhaps the whole world, which is to say the majority, the normies say uh, it's a tragedy. And she was a great person and she should not have died like oh, shit. She should not She should not have died like this. But we know that she's a cunt. Oh, come on now. Shh. But we know that she's a cunt. And here is some evidence to how she's being a cunt. You can pause and look uh, for longer. And this proves uh, that she's a cunt. She manipulates and uses people. She's not a nice person. She doesn't deserve your pity, nor she deserves any attention. Um... Her Discord, full of beta orbiting fucking faggots. Um, this is fucking surprisingly clear glass. I think the original ha has more of this kind of glass to give you some privacy, but also some sunlight. What a solution! What an invention! A weird glass! What an invention! Um, yeah, she's not a nice person, and she never was, and she mistreated people. And she des doesn't deserve uh, the attention. And that case also reminds me of... Oh, right, there was a doll there. Over there at the playground. There was a doll that when you pick it up, she it's whining. Like a child. A newborn. And it's kind of creepy. I don't know if you paid attention to how creepy it is. Maybe I'll find another doll and I'll prove it to you again. So the issue with Blanca reminds me of uh, another girl. Uh, there is this fat and ugly bitch on YouTube who lost her hands to a disease. I don't remember the disease, but it's a very destructive disease. You get necrosis, your um, your skin, skin rots off. Terrible disease, of course. But what she does is she does, a, does makeup tutorials on her channel. She's fat and ugly, and she does makeup tutorials, and she doesn't have arms. So, of course, she gets the pity points, and people telling her how what a beautiful person she is, and how she uh, kind of uh, what will be the term? Uh, come on now, powers through. Still does her best without her arms and after the disease. She's a survival. She, she survived. She's a survivalist. She's a survivor. Sort of right. She gets all those kind of praises, but. 
one time recommended on you i know this because of the recommendations from youtube recommendations from youtube gave me um her video to watch and she told her story she told her story about how she lost her hands arms the whole arms how she lost her arms how why is there a diamond pattern uh pattern diamond pattern on her skin that's the skin grafts and she talked about her disease she also talked about how she was a mean teenager. He, she bullied other people, she used drugs, she partied and didn't pay attention in school. And she talked about this, right? And then she got the disease and lost her, lost her arms and skin. And there are still people in, people in her comments saying what a beautiful person she is for bullying, for using drugs, for being a bitch. But she's a beautiful person because she lost her arms. Just as Bianca is a beautiful person, because she managed to get fucking stabbed. This is the hot take on the issue. The guy stabbed her. Like I prefaced the, the whole thing, I'm not gonna repeat it, I'm just gonna... Uh, make it um, active in your mind again, maybe. Maybe you'll pay attention or at least look back to what I said. She was a cunt, there's the evidence ho of how she, she is a cunt. And there are better orbiters on her Discord still praising her. And saying why is she ha why did she hang out with weirdos like the guy that killed her? Bitch, stupid idiot! You're the weirdo she's hanging out around. You're the beta orbiter, as he was. He you're not in special place here. You're not in uh, in a moral high ground here. You're a wimp and you're a bitch. And she hang out around people like that because they paid her money to be around her. Jokes on you. So that's the hot takes on dead people lately. Let's hear the commentary now. In early versions of Half-Life 2, views of citizen life were restricted to minor window glimpses. The development team had plans for a rooftop segment, but had no existing designs for getting the player up there from the courtyards and streets. By adding in the apartment building, players were then able to interact with the citizens who would not speak to them on the streets, and gain further insight as to how citizens live under Combine law. Well, that's kind of pointless. So we're going through this, right, and we're supposedly... Uh, we're supposed to not interact with people that we would have seen. Can we go through this again? Minor window glimpses. Plans for rooftop segment. For getting the player up. Like the apartment building, players were able to interact with the citizens who would not speak to them on the streets. And gain for Yeah. S interact with people who wouldn't interact with them on the streets. We already had people interact with us on the streets, and in this apartment building we're not getting much more interaction than that. We do get a sight on, or, or a glimpse, a show of how they're uh, living, but they're not getting into much more interactions with us, with us than that, aside from the whole uh, action scene we're gonna get to. Uh, but yeah, there's that. And also, then we go through, we're supposed to go through people that are not interacting with that, get to a rooftop. So just just because, or just to uh, see what's going on down the street, down on the streets that we just came up from, to see people living their lives, I guess, that we can't interact with. So yeah, that will be the thing, the thing for today. Let's see if there's any... Oh. Does it trigger over time or if I pass the threshold? I guess the threshold. So, oh, uh, well, time it is. Why did you report 603 unlawful entry? This is a this is a thing you don't do. You do lawful entries. You should either have the fucking what's the term? The paper uh, warrant. You should have a warrant to enter. Or you should not enter. I know it's oppressive, but that's not the reason to have you unlawfully enter and report yourself unlawfully entering. You should have the warrant. Everyone just should have a blank warrant that they can sign on the spot, banging on somebody's door. Here, we've got the warrant. I just signed it. Right? Because that would be oppre more oppressive and more law-like. There's supposed to be a, a force of law. Corrupted and whatever, but... Organize at least, organize at least. So yeah, like I said, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the deaths of people, of famous people, or e thoughts, or at least one, depending on what, what how you feel about Heather, Emily Hartridge, not Heather, because 
DH threw me off. And see you next time when we possibly have more gameplay than standing around and talking about architecture and death. We'll talk more about death too though, but this has been the voice from your wallet, saying you need more of this shit, and I do too.